As the happily married stars of TLC's The Little Couple, Dr. Jen Arnold and Bill Klein have been a reality TV staple since 2009, along with their kids, Will and Zoe. But even though cameras capture much of their relationship, there is always more to the story. It's not often that anyone's love story begins at 10 years old, but that's what happened for Bill and Jen, who first met each other when they were recovering in the hospital as kids. Bill told Glamour, I used to do laps around the hallways, and I was happy as could be. I was cut out of my cast. I was sitting up, listening to my Walkman. My parents were 200 miles away, so I couldn't get in trouble. So I cruised into Jen's room. Having been on painkillers at the time, Jen doesn't remember all of it as well. But she said, all of the details he's telling you. When he first told me, I was like, no, you didn't. Then he started rattling it off, and it was all right. While the couple first met as kids, they didn't trade numbers or become pen pals at the time. Instead, they met later, as adults. Jen told the Tampa Bay Times, Officially, we met online on a dating site for little people. But this meeting occurred after a near-miss encounter when Bill and Jen were in college. They each worked with the same mentor, just one year apart, Jen recalled. When I was there, Dr. Kopitz and his nurse practitioner kept telling me, you know, I want you to meet this Billy Klein. He wants to go into medicine like you. He's super smart. I remember saying, yes, that sounds right up my alley. Smart, geeky, a little person like me. When Jen and Bill finally did get the chance to get to know one another, it was clear that they were meant to be. We waited so long to find our soulmates, and once we found each other, it was like, okay, I'm not, never letting go. After Jen and Bill began dating, they soon decided to take their relationship to the next level. When the couple started planning their wedding, Jen knew exactly what she wanted. She shared with the Tampa Bay Times, I'm a Florida girl, and I really wanted a beach wedding, even though we lived in New York. Luckily, I had my family here in Florida to help make the plans. We ended up getting married April 12, 2008 at St. Mary's downtown and had the reception at Don Cesar. This is the place I love, so it made the most sense. The duo celebrated their 13th anniversary in 2021, which Jen commemorated by posting to Instagram. I'm so lucky to get to spend this thing called life by your side. If you're a dedicated viewer of The Little Couple, then you've surely seen Jen and Bill celebrate numerous special occasions over the years. That includes birthdays, anniversaries, and other milestone events, all of which are filmed for their fans. Surprise! Surprise! But as it turns out, what you see on the show might not be the family's actual celebration. That's because Jen and Bill strive to preserve some of their private milestones, which means they often celebrate important events twice. Jen explained to Huff Post, We try to remind each other that dinners out with the cameras don't really count and that we still need to have a separate celebratory dinner for us, for birthdays and anniversaries. Even though we celebrate on camera, we do something separate as well. How has the TV show changed your lives? Amazing, they have Ferraris and <laughs> chateaus. You wish. <laughs> In addition to the perks of being a reality star, millions of followers around the world and a platform to amplify your voice, Bill and Jen have become master communicators, not only with their fans, but with each other. And it's something they attribute to their show. Bill explained to HuffPost, on occasion, we have to expand upon a topic that we otherwise would have skimmed across because of time, because our days and our jobs are busy. It gives us a chance to communicate in more detail. Having each other and knowing that we're in it together um, is probably the biggest stress relief. Do you agree? I would agree. Bill and Jen also faithfully abide by some relationship advice that many couples could probably agree with. Jen shared, we never go to bed angry. Once we did, and we both woke up in the middle of the night miserable. As fans are well aware, Bill and Jen are one busy couple. They both have full-time jobs, they dutifully parent their two children together, and they've starred in a hit reality show for over a decade. So how do they make it all work? Jen says they have a good system in place. She told the Tampa Bay Times, Bill and I do share things pretty darn well. We set limits, and I also divide and conquer really well with my husband. Bill's always been and will always be my biggest supporter. In addition to splitting household chores, Jen says she and Bill play to their strengths when it comes to delegating the rest of the duties. While, of course, Jen takes care of any immediate medical needs within the family, she added, Bill takes care of all things finance because he's a business guy. He takes care of the contracts dealing with the production company. 
Bill and Jen have been married for about as long as they've been on TV, having just tied the knot when they started filming. During that time, the pair has been through a lot together, including becoming parents and moving several times. They've also gotten to know each other so well that their deeply authentic connection actually surprised Jen. She shared with HuffPost, "'No one prepared me for how comfortable you are in front of someone. Like, being self-conscious about how I look? That's not something you think about. It's amazing how close you can get." Jen and Bill have total faith and trust in each other, though Jen appears to be amused that so much of their lives is taped for posterity. She said, "'It's funny knowing every bachelor party he's ever been to has been recorded. There's always someone watching, and I have eyes making sure he's being good.'" In addition to being hard-working parents who also film a reality TV show, Bill and Jen decided to knock another item off of their bucket list, published authors. So, in 2016, they made that dream happen when they penned their book, Life is Short, no pun intended, love, laughter, and learning to enjoy every moment. Bill explained the reason behind the venture, telling Glamour, the idea was to connect the dots for people that knew us. And obviously we wanted the viewership of our show to read the book to explain why we are the way we are today. But not only were they writing it all down for fans, they were busy building a legacy for their family. Jen and Bill want their children to read the book when they're older, with Bill adding, the other part from a legacy perspective. I would like for my kids to take a couple of notes from our pages and maybe say, you know what? My dad got bullied too, and my mom got bullied also. We saw obstacles in their lives, and they turned out to be fine. Jen and Bill went on to publish a second book two years later, entitled Think Big, Overcoming Obstacles with Optimism. You really can overcome things that may seem insurmountable. Take it one step at a time. In what fans witnessed as a long and challenging journey, Jen and Bill sought to grow their family and have children of their own. Initially, they thought that surrogacy would be the best avenue to make this happen, and they ultimately worked with a woman named Cindy to make their dreams come true. Sadly, she miscarried after becoming pregnant for the first time, and while the news was devastating, Jen remained determined to press on, as she wrote in their book, Think Big. I knew right away not to give up. We had only tried once. We don't give up that easily. Unfortunately, Cindy miscarried again after becoming pregnant for a second time, which was understandably an enormous setback for the hopeful parents. Jen told Radar Online, keeping the faith felt a little more difficult for Bill and me. I am very blessed in my life, but I feel like a lot of our life is spent with one hurdle after the next, and it's like, I just wanted one thing to kind of be easy. Fortunately, the duo were finally able to add children to their family, thanks to adoption, and proud Mama Jen says she wouldn't have it any other way. She shared, If you stay the course and are optimistic, you might find yourself seeing joy in your hands. Joy rushed over us in ways we hadn't expected and surely couldn't have imagined so soon after our experiences with surrogacy. A loving example of the power of family, the little couple finally brought their two children home in 2013. They were able to adopt Will from China and Zoe from India, all within one year. Naturally, Jen and Bill were absolutely delighted to become parents. Jen revealed in an interview with The Wrap, it's all been positive. I mean, a few crazy people, but mostly comments on how crazy it is to be adopting two kids at once. But we are. That being said, we're happy crazy. You are as American as french fries and a cheeseburger, dude. While it certainly wasn't by design that Will and Zoe came into their lives at nearly the same moment, the couple sees it as destiny. Jen added, It wasn't that we intended to or tried to adopt two children at one time. It's just how the stars aligned, really. While adopting two kids at once would be an enormous task for any new parent, Jen was confident they'd make it work which they have, she shared. It's a blessing that we'll figure out a way to handle. Even though Bill and Jen had decided that adoption was the best way to grow their family, just after bringing Will home and waiting for Zoe's adoption to be finalized, Jen made a surprising discovery. Bill recalled in their book, Think Big. Jen said, I'm pregnant, in complete and utter disbelief. After going through two years of fertility treatments and surrogacy followed by miscarriages, this was unexpected, to say the least. But sadly, for as much as Bill and Jen would have welcomed a biological child, they found out from their doctor that the pregnancy would not be viable. Still, for whatever grief the news might have caused them, Bill's inherent optimism triumphed in the end. He said of his family, I will see Jen's beautiful smile and Will's never-ending joy and Zoe enthusiastically hopping and skipping along and just think, when did I win the Powerball of life?
While Jen and Bill are happily married, they both retained their own last names. But in a funny subversion of traditional gender roles, there are some people who presume they share Jen's last name, not Bill's. He told a story about it, explaining to HuffPost, I was at Restoration Hardware, and the lady came up and said, Oh my god, I was hoping I'd meet you guys. It's very nice to meet you, Bill Arnold. It's actually a running joke now, since it's happened so often that people just presume that my last name is Arnold. But, not surprisingly, good-natured Bill isn't bothered at all when people assume that his last name is Arnold instead of Klein. He says, It's perfectly fine by me. There's no ego or harm done. With all that Jen and Bill have going on in their lives, you might wonder when they make time for each other, just the two of them. And, as it turns out, they intentionally do exactly that every single day, even if it's in smaller moments. Bill explained in a chat with People magazine, When you have a busy life, particularly two toddlers that can take up all your attention and energy during the day, you make sure to have something at night. It could be a glass of wine after you put the kids to bed, watching a TV show, making sure you give at least 10 to 15 minutes of your time to each other. No matter how hectic life gets for this couple, it seems like making their marriage a priority is truly the secret to their success. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite reality star couples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.